been here, done that. Well, not like this, we haven't. We have come full circle. This is a whole new beginning for us. So, let's do it. What do you say? I'm with you, bud. And I always will be. Nothing but my, the pleasure of my company. Mm. <laughs> Hello, son. Come here. Uh, okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Nice of you to be here. By now, you've probably all figured out that this is not going to be your basic uh, traditional wedding ceremony. No, we've already had a couple of those. In fact, I, I would venture to guess that by the end of the night, we will break just about every wedding rule there is in the book. No minister? No, but we do have Mrs. Prosky. Would you stand up, say hi to everybody? Mrs. Prosky is a justice of the peace. Very nice. And her job will be to make sure that at the end of the evening, everything is legal. Right. So the spirit of this ceremony is simple. Josh and I will be marrying ourselves. Well, no, actually, uh, I think what she means is we'll be marrying each other. <laughs> no, let's, let's stop the ceremony right there. I think they're already talking. No about heckling. Marriage. No heckling from the audience. Thank you very much. And what we're trying to say is it's just the two of us. It's just the two of us up here. And that's because we know that that's how we're going to be facing life together from now on. You know, believe it or not, we have learned a few things over the last few years. One thing is this, that the sacrament of marriage is not something that's forced upon a couple uh, from the outside, it's, it's, a, it's a commitment. It's a promise that we will make willingly to each other. And to all of you, that we will never, never, ever, never, ever, never. <laughs> do this again. <laughs> and you're our witnesses because you all probably know us better than we know ourselves. Yes, and in spite of that, you've always been there for us. <laughs> through thick and thin and all of our ups and downs. So we wanted to share this uh, wonderful time with you because, folks, this, this really is going to be it. Uh, as Reva said, there will be no rerun of this event. There will be no Josh and Reva part four <laughs> this evening. This moment is it. So having said all that, are you ready to do this? Just my whole life. Okay. <laughs> Would you just get off it? I am not doing this to ruin Josh and Reva's wedding. I'm not. This problem has to occur at a big event while the system is overloaded. Otherwise, it's going to look suspicious. The fact that it happens to be Josh and Reva's wedding is a perk. No, no, don't do anything until I get there. I want to see the whole thing. Well, don't you look absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Stunning, as a matter of fact. Mm. Let's see now. What shall we do this evening while the rest of the town is out suffering through yet another Josh and Reva wedding? Mm. I know we could go to Towers, have a wonderful dinner together. Mm. Or we could stay here and go to bed. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. That sounds really mm -hmm. lovely, but something has come up and um, I have other plans. Really? Yeah. Business meeting. A business meeting dressed like that? <laughs> well, it's important. Well, cancel it. It's important, Alan. I just told you. And I said cancel it, Olivia. I can't. It's a personal project of mine, and tonight is crucial to its success. Look, I'll tell you all about it once it's all in the bag, okay? Give me a rain check. 
mistake my fascination with you as weakness. And don't ever dismiss me like some lapdog. Before we go on with our celebration, I have to thank this person I'm looking right at, my beautiful, bright, super amazing sister, Cassie, <laughs> who gave us this glorious hotel for our ceremony. And it's perfect because it stands facing our beloved lighthouse, Springfield's lighthouse, whose beam has guided many lost travelers back home again. And it's kind of like, our love has done for Joshua and me. It's always guided us back home to each other. In fact, we think it's fitting that we are in this old building, a building that's under construction, that is still undergoing renovation, a work in progress, much like our marriage. I think you better get a hard head, bud. <laughs> Amen to that. But, but like this old building, if the foundation is strong, if the structure is sound, we will weather any storm that comes our way. I know what they're all thinking. Hmm. They're all thinking, why should they believe this? Because they've heard it before. <laughs> and it never stuck, so why should it this time? Why should it be any different? Well, because it will be. That's right. It's already different because we're older. And wiser. Right? Much yes, wiser. we're much wiser. In fact, we were pretty smart when we were kids because even then we knew that we belonged together. Right? We knew that when we were six. It was never a question of of our not knowing each other it was the fact that we were a couple of kids that didn't know ourselves. I'm just thinking now about our first wedding. <laughs> and, and something you said to me that day. Uh, for those of you who weren't there, it was a, a beautiful day on the banks of a river. Uh, we were in a field with daisies and <laughs> and there was a sweet smell in the air and you were wearing that big white hat <laughs> and there were tears in your eyes i believe i said this is heaven you said this is the day where the past meets the future right here right now and it still is Reva, it still is and then you said to me my whole life is yours. Okay, at our second wedding. <laughs> we move forward in this story. <laughs> at our second wedding, uh, Reva got so emotional that oh. in the beginning she couldn't even speak. Ah, uh, there's a first time for everything. Yeah? Well, excuse me. I didn't have to speak because you all did enough talking for both of us but i believe that it was my sweet son dylan who summed it up best that day when he said that the best things in life don't change they grow we we have been through a lot of changes haven't we some changes when we were together and some when we were <laughs> apart from each other but our love for each other that never changed never just grew. When Joshua proposed to me at Cross Creek, actually this last time he proposed to me, um, he created a ritual for us by lighting candles and each candle represented a memory from our life together. Uh, lots of memories, some good and some not so good. And we decided that we'd kind of like to share that ritual with all of you in hopes that maybe it'll bring us all together today, this evening. So if you reach under your chairs, there's candles. Yeah. <laughs> Mara and Shane, come on up here. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is the true test. <laughs> <laughs> is a unity candle and when we light this candle we'll be making two lights one and making two separate lives one as well 
And then we will share that flame with all of you. And we will create a circle of love and light. be treated like a fool and I will not allow you to dismiss me as if I don't understand your dreams and your schemes because I do all too well yeah I know you want to you want to run the show you want to own me tell me something I don't already know no you tell me tell me what is so special about this business meeting of yours tonight that you can't discuss it with me you know what Alan I'm not cheating on you if that's what you think there are all sorts of ways to cheat look I don't ask to know every detail of your life. I expect the same courtesy in return. If you can't give me that, I'll have to find another place to live. You don't want to do that. No, what I don't want is to be trivialized or marginalized and told what I can and cannot do. Not by you, by Kathy, by Beth, by anyone. When are you going to stop this insecurity Perhaps when you stop patronizing me. Why is it that no one can respect me for who I am? Why is it no one wants me to succeed on my own terms? I have worked my whole damn life for respect, and I have started from the bottom, Alan. Something you have never known and never will. Oh, yes, you were totally destitute in San Cristobal, I deserve a place you? in life, and I am going to find it. And I'm going to find it right here in this little town. You'd be very nice to me. I might just tell you how. But right now, I have plans. We're not through talking, Too Olivia. Too bad I am. Olivia! Now, before we continue, there are a few more people we, we want to thank. And the first one would be God for taking us down some crazy, winding pathways. But a lot like the lighthouse beam, he's always guided us back to each other. And for that, we are grateful beyond words. And we are also grateful for all of you and for sticking with us for all these years. And believe me, we, we both know that that's not always been easy. <laughs> now, there are three others that we want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge. Uh, three people who are not with us here physically, but who are always with us in our hearts. The first is my father. Our father, H.B. Lewis, who loved his family fiercely, who always put us first, right? And who taught us by his example. Now, the next would be uh, my mother, Miss Martha, who died far too young, but who managed to somehow put a whole lot of love into her short life. And, and we carry her love with us here tonight. And I'd like to thank my mama, Sarah, who was probably the wisest, most wonderful woman that I've ever known in my life. Because she used to tell me all the time to believe in myself and to follow your heart. 
And I heard you, Mama, and that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> Thank you. Reva and I feel truly blessed to have found each other. And to still be together after all these years. And we are very thankful for all of you. We've uh, written some personal vows, so I guess we'll do those now. All right. <laughs> no. You know what? No. Sit down, please. Sit. <laughs> We're not going to do this. No. What? We're not? No. <laughs> stay, stay with me. Don't, don't hit me, okay? Just stay with me. <laughs> we said this was going to be different. So let's not make a bunch of public promises right here and now. Let's save those for later when we're alone, just the two of us, okay? Because what we say in those vows is going to be very important. Well, uh, can we, can we still exchange the rings? <laughs> or are we not going to do that either? No, we're going to exchange the rings. Right. I want to exchange the rings, okay? Yeah. Because I am proud to be putting a ring on your finger, and I want to do that in front of the whole world. And I also want to say this, that when I do that, you will have my mind and my heart and my body, lucky you, and my soul, okay? You sure you're ready to give me all those things? I have never been more sure of anything in my entire life. Are you sure you're ready for it? Yeah. So bring on the rings and everything that comes with them. <laughs> okay, baby, you got it. <laughs> Barbara, come on up. You all, some of you know Barbara Conrad. Uh, she sang uh, beautifully at my father's memorial service and she is going to sing for us here tonight again at this uh, much more happier occasion <laughs> It's time to make it legal, so you are on. <laughs> After you, Doug. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot this part. I think we have to sign something over here. <laughs> there we go. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. All right. Don't anybody get up because we're not done yet. We got just a little, little more to do here. Um, 
After our two previous false starts, we figured it would be a good idea to uh, just hedge our bets a bit, you know, take out a little, a little insurance, uh, something to seal the deal. A lot of countries have certain traditions that they perform um, uniting newly married couples, so we decided to have our family help us perform some of those traditions because we thought that the more we did, the more people we got involved, the better our chances would be of having a lot of love and luck and happiness. So, Kathy, Richard? Actually, this custom is uh, from right here in this country. It's um, in Native American marriage ceremonies. Uh, the bride and the groom wash their hands, and it's said that the water will wash away evil spirits. It also washes away all the hurt and the mistakes <laughs> from the past <laughs> Look at to make room for all the fresh, positive energy to enter your lives. So, dive on in. <laughs> oh! <ooh, ooh. laughs> I feel it! <laughs> This part's nice. I like, I like this. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. Now, another tradition is from the Philippines, and it's yeah. called the veil and the lasso. Whoa. This is the Filipino way of sealing the marriage union. All right. Uh, that, uh, that there's a veil. Okay. Now, you know, out there in the Philippines, they use a little piece of silk cord for the lasso. Hey, no, I, I'm sure it's real pretty, you know, that, but, but this here, yeah, this, this here is an Oklahoma wind. Uh-oh. Oh, so, right. uh, we're going to use real McCoy. Oh, all right, oh, you can get up real close together now. This is going to hurt. Get up real close. Close, close, close. Put your arms. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. There you go. All right. Mom, come here, boy. Hello. Come on. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here. There we go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, all right. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Pull her tight. Very nice. You know what? I like this I one. Like this is my favorite so far. <laughs> could, we, could we be serious for just yes. a second? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, Pa. All right, now. Here we go. Mm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, I missed it. Yeah. 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 Woo! Yo, Woo! behave under there. <laughs> now, Josh and Reva. Yes. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you serious now? May you always be as close as you are right now. And wherever you look, may you only see each other. All right, take this. Right. Right. Oh, look, oh, look, we caught him. That, that's it? It's not unless you want us to brand you. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, now it's our turn. Yep, it's our turn, right. Mindy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Now, uh, as Cassie and Richard already took care of all the evil spirits from the past, so we have a little tr tradition here from, oh my goodness, India, <laughs> in which we prevent all the evil spirits from the future from getting their hooks into you. Uh -huh. God knows you all need so. <laughs> Oh, thank you so no, much. No, we Big love you. <laughs> We're just looking out for you. We want to protect you. So here's to uh, third time being a charm. And may the love between you always flow. And may you have smooth sailing and clear skies for the rest of your life. All right. Absolutely. Let's do it. Hey. Okay, now we have one last tradition to perform, and this will all be official. In the Jewish faith, the groom steps on a glass and crushes it at the end of the wedding ceremony. And why they do this? We don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. There are many explanations as to what this tradition symbolizes, but there are two that Shane and I both really liked. The first one is that it symbolizes um, the frailty of marriage. Yes, and I hope you guys have uh, realized that by now. <laughs> and the second is that, like the wedding ceremony, the crushing of the glass is a transformational event. Once done, it can never be undone. So you guys, Dad, like you said, once you guys get married, that's it. All right? There's no going back. Oh, yeah, Dad. Oh, okay, sweetie. <laughs> and one last thing. We all know my mother very well, and I know she would not be too content with just my dad breaking the glass, so we got her one, two, to smash her. <laughs> do they know me or do they know me? We love you guys so much. With all of our hearts, we do, yes. Let's make sure we got him in. You might want to lay him Let sideways. <laughs> Everybody help him out. One, two, three. Okay. I think we've done everything we need to do. I think that's it.
that's it. So by the power vested in us, <laughs> by us, I now pronounce us husband and wife. You can kiss the bride. <laughs> Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. I have something to say to you. I'm sure you do, Frank. The other night when my daughter came forward and admitted that she uh, lied about what happened in your hotel room while I kind of got caught up in everything that was going on there, and I didn't take the opportunity to, uh, to apologize. To, to you. Accused you of something without having all the facts, and it was wrong, and... I'm sorry. My son just apologized. Yeah, I know. Aren't you going to say something? Uh, I'm glad that you uh, finally saw the light there, Frank. Yeah, I'm so rude dragging you away, but I've missed you so I much. I missed you, too. Oh. Now, come here, you. Mm. Tell me all about Peter. How is he? Oh, he's great. His new thing's fishing now. He loves it. We're going to take him out on the boat practically every weekend. No. Does he oh, catch any? Oh, yeah, he catches a little fish the other day. Oh. If you tried to cast one, he grabs his pants and <laughs> rips his pants up the back. <laughs> oh, was he embarrassed? <laughs> That's for I'm ready to cut himself. Yeah. Hi there. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Kathy. It's, it's such a beautiful wedding. It's just so lovely. And... Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, but we need to take some family photos, so if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back, okay. all right? <laughs> Still quite a bit of tension. Well, it's understandable with Dinah and everything. Vanessa, I had no idea you were going to be here. It's good to see you. Oh, it's wonderful. And you. Tell me how's everything. What's going on in your lives? You're well, wonderful. Everything's great. We're very happy. Oh, good. And the children? How are the children? Well, you could tell me that. I mean, I hear from Dinah every once in a while in a letter, but they're very vague. And there's always a different postmark. Is she all right emotionally? Well, she's all right. I mean, she's holding her own. She's not any worse. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, yeah. Thank you so much. We were just talking about Dinah. Bill just saw her not too long ago. He's been traveling all over the world. Really? Doing what, Bill? Well, as little as possible. Oh, really? Oh, no, well, there's a plus. Uh, now, wait a minute. You were everywhere you were. Well, I'm played. I mean, it balances everything, right? Does that sound like it's father's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where were you traveling? Uh, well, I went everywhere. I, Europe, uh, Australia, Far East, um, down south. Olivia, why don't you go home? You really don't want to be here anymore. Mm. You know the other day, that's when I tried to give your daughter some advice and you told me to butt out? Right back at you. I really don't know what you expect to accomplish here, but you know, this is... I'm keeping an eye out on my investment. See, I own the place. I'll still put it here anytime I damn well, please. <laughs> Those are doors are wonderful, aren't they? They Yeah. Ross. What? Either I'm losing my mind or I think just not to worry. Where? You mean right now? Yes, I mean right now. I can't wait any longer. Okay, don't Walk push. This way. Oh, me neither. Okay. Where? What, here? Okay. <laughs> so, who goes first? 
You go first. Oh, mm. you see, I don't have to read mine, though, huh? because I was up half the night writing. But I kept coming back to the same three words, four words. <laughs> I will love you forever. I don't know. Are you sure it was Tori that you saw? I'm not sure of anything, Ross, but I, I swear for a fleeting moment I thought I saw her. Well, if your first response was, it's Tori, trust your instincts, because I do. I don't think it's the right time. There, it is not going to be any better time than now. Come on. Hey, gang. Yeah? This is Tony Santos. Tony is very important to me. Well, hi. This is my Grandpa Hawk, and my Uncle Rusty, hey, and my Aunt Trish, and Dylan, and my cousin Mindy. Hey. Nice to meet you all. So you are the one, huh? You go to Springfield View, Tony? Oh, uh, no, actually, I own my own restaurant. At your age, that's very enterprising. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, actually, it really is on my nightclub, too, isn't it, son? Well, it's, uh, it's a nightclub and, and the restaurant. And, you know, while you all are in town, you guys can come over, I'll hook you up with a free meal. Huh? Well, Thank man, that's you, sir. Right. We love that. Mm -hmm. Listen, would you mind if I borrowed her for just a minute? No. Thank you. See you guys in bed. Oh, Russ, you're brilliant. So cute. Is it serious between you two? Very. Oh, sweetie. Well, it's your auntie. I guess I should give you some sort of advice, but you know what? Okay. I think you're so smart, you don't need any. Well, I'm not as smart as you think I am, Aunt Trish. Excuse me. Congratulations. I just want to say hi and no hard feelings, and I'm really glad that your wedding got to be the first big event here at the newly renovated Beacon Hotel. Olivia? Can I talk to you? <clears throat> this is Josh and Reva's wedding. I think you need to go home now. 
And if I don't? Well, I'll toss you out. Myself, and don't make me. You've already humiliated yourself enough. be planning. I don't know, but I'm sick of waiing for her next move. You know, Blake, why don't we take control for a change? Why don't we make the rules? You're right. That's exactly what we should do. From now on, we call the shots. Come here. Dylan, your mother wants me to take a picture of you. Come here. So don't tell me you guys got to stand in line to get a dance with you. Oh, you, you've never had to stand in line. <laughs> look at you. You look terrific. Thank you. You really do. It's been a long time since we've done something like this, right? It's good to see you, too. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't realize you were such an enthusiastic dancer. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, I can't get over how you look. Me? Oh, no, 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 no. You're the one who's changed. I hardly recognized you. Oh, you, you, you look exactly the same. I mean, exactly like her. Like who? Uh, this woman that I knew down in Texas. And when I first met her, I thought the resemblance was uncanny. But now that I see you again, it's like... God, they could be twins. I mean, although she was a redhead and... Quite a handful. Her name was Laura Lai. Excuse me, can I have everyone's attention, please? Little brother. Yeah. Time for the first dance with your new wife. Well, that would be the third oh. first dance. Oh, Who's counting? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Well, now, may I have this dance, Mrs. Lewis? Well, wow, yes. <laughs> you absolutely may, Mr. Lewis. Guiding Light. She's got a winning personality. Don't you dare do it! What is wrong with you? And away with words. Don't you touch me, you thief! You better watch your mouth, lady. Jill Abbott is one tough diva. Well, I'm sorry if the truth hurts. And she's not afraid to get it on. You get out of here or I really will call security. The Young and the Restless.